When I was studying film, I, I loved it, but one, it was just expensive to go to school in the U.S. I just didn't want to pay. And also, I realized that I couldn't do it myself, and I wanted to do everything. I wanted to write the script, I wanted to direct it, I wanted to edit it, I wanted to make the music for it, I wanted to build the set or find the locations. The only thing I wouldn't want to do is act. I just don't really like acting. And then I realized that it's not realistic to do that, and also, you need a lot of money. And I just really don't like the idea of pandering to a producer, like trying to grab money from people to make a film. I just got really disheartened when I realized that my first jobs in film would probably be on movies I didn't care about. And it's really hard for me to contribute to anything I don't care about. I try to never do it. And so I was like, man, I won't be able to do anything with film. So I got like a normal office job and I played music like I always had just locally in Richmond, Virginia. That just kind of started to have energy that I didn't expect. And I guess I never let myself want a music career because I never thought it was possible. It's kind of a wild, like I couldn't have imagined this. So it had to start happening before I could think it was happening. Past couple months I've realized I haven't known anything else. And I think that's why I'd want to stay is because it's familiar. And I, am, I travel so much that I don't have the time to find a new city and become familiar and feel like somewhere is home. You know, every place other than Richmond, I'm visiting. Richmond, I'm not visiting. It's like just my roots. Um, but one day, maybe I will want to know another city. It's an experience I've never had. And um, I, I can kind of feel that wanderer in me, just wanting to know what it's like somewhere else. I like to view myself as a historian because I've been journaling since I was around eight years old. And so I don't really know why I do that. It's just an impulse. And recently I've realized that I just want to contain my history and I want to be able to reference it throughout my life and learn from my past in a more concrete way. And um, I mean, part of history is just storytelling and finding the right words to capture a moment. And so the album is about a lot of the more intense moments of my life. Some of the darker ones, they're, a lot, they're about loss a lot of the time. Um, and so I'm telling those stories, but I try to put, you know, a little bit of hope into everything. Like, I think it's important if you're going to talk about dark material to sort of show the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm still the child in our family dynamic and so I can't imagine what it's like to be a grandmother and see people and see what you've created. I think that I internalize her judgment so that it's a part of me but I don't look at my family in the same way that she looks at us I think. I think that she must have looked at us as a product of her whereas I never felt like she was a product of me and I don't have any children. I imagine that it will be different if I ever get to that point in my life. I used to be anxious and self-centered. If you stay deep inside your head, you can't really see the world and you're not open to, um, you know, happiness. Like, I think a lot of people suffer from anxiety, which is mostly internal. Um, and then saying, now I'm too far outside my skin is sort of like the opposite. You know, if you're never thinking of yourself um, if you're always thinking about others, if you're always just trying to take in life, then you're not really reflecting. And so there should be a balance of each. Like you shouldn't be completely out of your body and you shouldn't be completely inward either. Everything you see of me is just exactly how I'm feeling. And so some nights, if it is really intense, that's just how I'm feeling. And if I'm not, you know, maybe I'm feeling more contemplative. And yeah, my voice is just kind of even. There are some moments on the record where I scream or like I am either frustrated or just not completely content or something. But overall, like I think it's the same with my speaking voice. Like I'm pretty even keel. I love Matador. I've always loved that label. I love all the artists on the label pretty much. I mean, everyone I can think of like Yola Tango is amazing. I love Cat Power. Um, and more recently, like I love Julian and car seat headdress and snail mail and everyone that works there is amazing. You know, that's been the best part is that I respect their approach to everything. I feel like they care really genuinely about the music. 
I trust them. I have found that that's really rare. I mean, I talk to a lot of people who don't really know their label personally or don't feel like they're listening. And I feel very listened to and understood and I feel lucky, yeah.